Okay, shalom, shalom. Come here, say Allah. Koholoyim la yahawa ba shim ya washai, ba hashim, kahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to touch on something I seen on the news yesterday, um, Euro News, with um, Russia, you know, Russia and China just met up, the presidents of Russia and China just met up, you know, hey, they was clinking glasses and everything, man, they was, they was popping bottles. <laughs> so... Russia and China is in bed together, man, and I mean, it's been going down for a minute, you know, and they're just becoming closer and closer because they have a, you know, an, um, shit, basically a common enemy, which is um, the West, um, which is mainly the USA, but NATO, you know, EU, whatever, you know, so these leaders are um, coming together and putting together their teams, man, so it's pretty much like a, uh, shit, <laughs> a, 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 a global NFL about to go down out here, man. <laughs> they putting together the squads, man. You know, but um, and then you have um North Korea. I think as of today, they have supposedly 1.4 million. Now, yesterday it was 800,000. As of today, it's supposed to be like one and a half million um of their youth, young men have enlisted in the um, you know, army over there, you know, to go up against the US, right? Now, in the meanwhile, the U.S., they have a problem with recruitments. Nobody's um, going, <laughs> nobody's <laughs> running up into the America. These children, man, these youngsters, these 16, 17, 18, you know, I mean, you have to be 18, you know, at least. But, you know, none of these, these, they're not thinking of going to war, man. They're not thinking of, they're not patriotic. I'll put it that way. Now, this right here is what I'm basically seeing on the news as of yesterday. I'm not going to play it. It's quite a bit, but I just wanted to just get the point. It says Russia and China convinced that nuclear war must never be unleashed. Joint statement. Russia and China are convinced that a nuclear war cannot be won and must never be unleashed, according to the joint statement on deepening. Let me see. Because they were basically like, you know, they done kind of made a pact where, oh, well, it's not bringing it up. Anyway, we get the point. But let's get this, though, because what they don't understand is that's prophecy. And it's nothing that they can do about it because this is what the Lord, let's get this on Proverbs 21 and verse 1. It says, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh as the rivers of water. He turneth it whether soever he will. See, it's whether he will, whether soever he will. It's not their will, but you'll never see these, um, these heathens say if it's the will of the Lord, um, such and such, such and such is going to happen. They don't believe in the Lord. They, you know, they make plans into... You know, 2099. <laughs> and I never say if it's the will of the Lord, we're going to do this in 29. They, you know, they don't believe in the Lord. So they're basically on it with their own minute mind thinking that they're in control and really they're not. Um, the king, let me get this again. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So the Lord is going to turn their hearts, the heart of these men. To, 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 to push towards nuclear war. That's the that's a part of the prophecies. You're not going to get around that, man. They can't get around it. <laughs> There's nothing they can do about it. So I found it to be interesting yesterday when I seen that. And so let me go off into this because this kind of brought it back to mind. This little video of Trump right here. And this is on um, fair use. Um, disclaimer. I'm not getting any monetary value off of this. It's just um, for educational purposes only. But let's just get a little bit of this video of Trump um, um, from a few days ago. We have never been closer to World War III than we are today under Joe Biden. A global conflict between nuclear armed powers would mean death and destruction on a scale unmatched in human history. It would be nuclear Armageddon. Nothing is more important than avoiding that nightmare. We will avoid it. But we need new leadership. Every see, see, he says we will avoid it. See his will. You see, that that that's the thoughts of these men. They don't have any faith or um, any. You know, they they don't think on the Lord. They don't call on the Lord. It's not even possible for them to. They're just puppets. You know what I'm saying? And 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 um, 
you know, um, pieces on the chessboard that the Lord is moving around and they have no idea. But they actually think that they're in power. They don't even have sense enough to say the Lord placed me in power. They don't think of a higher power. They think that they're the higher power. You see what I'm saying? So as you can see, these these presidents, these leaders, these world leaders are saying, hey, there's not going to be a World War Three. We're going to avoid World War Three and all these different things. But what did we just read? The king's heart is in the, in the, in the hands of the Lord. He turns that he turns him whether the way. Let me get it back. So like you don't want to butcher it. Let me just come back to it again one more time. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. These things are happening. They're going to happen. You see, because we're living in the last days. Matter of fact, let's get this real quick. This is another thing. See, these are all the prophecies that Yahweh Shai was speaking of in uh, Matthew chapter 24. When it comes to these, see, we're, you know, we're in the last days because the prophecies are, are coming to pass right before our very eyes. You're able to you're watching prophecy on news like like you're watching the Bible play out like it's a movie for real on the news, basically, man, on a day to day basis. Right. Let's get this one. Let's see if we can get this to play. This is on um, moments. TV studio shakes during live broadcast at six point five magnitude earthquake hits Pakistan. Now, you just had an earthquake in. um, What was that? Venezuela, Ecuador or Peru. Something to that extent. You had the one in Turkey last month, which they're not talking about anymore, which killed about 50,000, 60,000 people or whatever amount. They're not even speaking on that no more. And you got the all these earthquakes that's happening in, in diverse places, man. But those are that's the scriptures. You see what I'm saying? So let's see. Okay. OK, but anyway, you can see the studio shaking as the earthquake is going on. The, 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 the newscaster, he's still going at it. But it says a television presenter continued to deliver his live news bulletin after a powerful earthquake shook the studio. At least 13 people have died after the 6.5 magnitude quake hit Pakistan and Afghanistan. And man, you know, whether or not. Esau Edom is using, you know, his little witchcraft or sorcery, his his, um, you know, his sword, harp, you know, um, the, um, you know, because they have weather weather machines, man. Esau is into all kinds of wicked shit. They can uh, create an earthquake. I definitely believe that, you know, but whether they're doing it or not, we know it's all by the will and power of you. How about Shimei was shy, man? So let's go into the scriptures on that. Because these things are actually happening out here, man. We're getting very, very close to the end of this thing. Um, I wanted to get the Apocrypha real quick. Let's go into the Apocrypha real quick. Second Edris, we already in here. Let's get chapter nine. Start at verse one. And it reads, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, see that? Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And there's a lot of uproars of the people that's going on in the world as well. As well. You see? A lot of, I'm talking about that, all these major countries. You got um, France, you got Greece. You got Israel, <laughs> you name it, man. Matter of fact, I done it the other day. Let's go into here. Let's put in. Um, I'm just gonna put in like protest in the world and YouTube. See, you got a. Uh, Oh, they got that three years ago. Okay, so this is the one in France from a day ago. They over there lighting shit on fire. They um they on strike. Damn trash all over the city. The city workers are not working. It's all kinds of chaos and shit over there. You got um. Okay, let's go to 
Okay, this was a few years ago. I'm looking for the ones as of today or yesterday. You got this one right here in Israel three days ago. Uh, you got this one in Paris. <laughs> they over there burning shit up, man. The police are out there. You know, it, it, it's out of control. They said um, anti-government protests in four nations in Africa. So this is all over the place. Look at all that trash from the street of France right, or Paris. Can you imagine? That's supposed to be one of the places you go and visit and tour. And, and you go over there right now, you're going to smell all kinds of shit with rats running around. And this was two hours ago. It says garbage piles up in Paris as protests extend into their 17th day. There you go. You can see it. Look at all the fire in the street. They're burning. They burning shit all in the streets. It says Paris protests. Drivers swerve through burning streets. They got rising food prices, fuel protests. Um, this is, oh, that was 10 months ago. Anyway, you get the point. South Africa protests demand President Ramaphosa to step down. So, hey, these, um, a lot of these, these, um, these nations, the people are, are very, very upset with their government and their leaders, man. The leaders of these countries, man. Very upset. And, and it's only a matter of time before shit break forth here in the Americas, man. Because they talking about arresting Trump. They arrest Trump ass, man. It's about to be all hell here. <laughs> it's going all hell going to break loose if they try and arrest Trump. So you have the uproars of the people. You have the earthquakes in diverse places. Now, let's go back. Let's get that in um, the book of Matthew. Let's see what Yahweh Shai had to say on this. Because, hey, we're supposed to be occupied in prophecy. We know this gets, um, you know repetitious at times but we have to keep doing it man we have to keep on warning the flock we have to keep on doing these lessons and whether or not you keep hearing it or keep hearing it or keep hearing it, you should want to keep hearing it because this is what this is going to be the stability of our times according to isaiah 33 and 6 see everybody else going to be shook but the lord you know he, he he's placing us to a point where we're going to be on point because we're going to have something to think on we're going to be able to think on the words of yahweh bashimi i was shy because they're going to be so embedded within us man Matthew 24, let me start at verse 3. It says, And he set upon, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? The end of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's rulership, man. And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, or verbatim, it says Christ, and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars. See that? That's why I went into the um, the um, Trump. Um, you got the president of Russia and president of China linking up and getting together. Iran, I think the Iranian um, president was just there meeting up with um, Putin. Um, and they have an arrest warrant out for him, supposedly, you know, as far as the international court. You know, so, I mean, it's getting buck wild out here, man. You got all these leaders, man, that's um from. Of China was in Russia. You had the, the president of Japan and Ukraine. And, 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 and the Japanese and Ukraine, I mean, Japanese and the Chinese, man, they're, they're really brethren. But what does the so-called white man do? He causes discord among brethren and he puts brothers against brothers. That's like North Korea and South Korea. Those are the same people. But the Americans, the so-called white man, he's notorious and he's great. That's one of his, his greatest um, plays in his book is that he causes um, separation, discord among brethren. Literally, I just thought about that. Um, Japan, the, um, I'm not sure if they have a president or if it's a prime minister or whatever his title is, but... While the Chinese president made his trip to Russia, the damn Japanese president made his trip to Ukraine, which they're right on the borders, man, which is Russia and Ukrainians. Those are the same people. Matter of fact, Russian Ukrainians and the so-called white people here in America are the same people. The damn NATO people, um, the Germans, the you know, they're all Edomites. They're all the same people. But they you know, it's all that infighting. When you think that they will all be together, try and reproduce and, and keep their um, nation alive because they're, they're dying off quicker than they're being born. But anyway, let's let's go on. Verse six again. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. See the wars and rumors of wars. 
See, these men are sitting around talking about nuclear war, how to not cause a nuclear war, how to not. You never heard of stuff like that. It's always been wars. There's always been some missile shot here, you know, drone over here, you know, this, that and the third. But you've never heard of nuclear talk being talked like how it's been over this past year, the past two years since um, Biden has been president here in the Americas, you know, and it's coming to that point. There's nothing they're going to be able to do to avoid that, because like I said, again, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, man. The Lord is, 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 is the one that's in control. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And all these things are happening, man. It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrow has been started. It's just, it's just about to go into a, um, the next stage. And that next stage is that digital dollar. <laughs> then wanting to put that thing thing in you. You see? We're, I, I, them the last of the prophecies. The last of the prophecies is World War III and um, them trying to put that goddamn um, beauty of the beast that um that beauty in the market of beast in you, that damn chippity chip chip. They wanna they wanna chip your ass. These people wanna um implant you, want to put an implant in you, man, to be able to control you with digital currency. This is what's come, this is what it's all coming down to, man. I was just looking at a brother, I can't think of the brother video I was looking at, but they so, I mean, everything is just gonna become on a digital scale of them trying to basically enhance humans. The so-called white man, he wants to enhance humans. The brother was going off into exoskeletons and um, what kind of stuck out to me was um, he was talking about what's that? Uh, them contact lenses talking about contact lenses that could take picture and video. <laughs> that, you know, just in your eyes, man. You just taking video and, 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 and photos and footage and shoot, you know. So what's next? You know what I'm saying? They're trying to integrate all this AI robotic shit Everything is becoming, you know, this is what they want to do. And the so-called white man, he wants to implement that into people. And he's going to have a whole digital. He wants to have a whole digital reset where, you know. Everything is just going to become it's, it's, it's embedded within you. So if a police officer come up and, and roll up on your ass, you know. You know what I mean? All your pride, and you know, just because lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. See, once you get into this truth, the Lord, he shows you, man, just how simple this man is. He's really very simple, but he keeps people in a, in a state of bread and circles. All he does is entertain your ass. He entertains you and in the backdrop. He's doing shit. That's one of his. Once I mean, he, this man only got a, a few plays, man, that he's been, you know, that that's very successful for him. So he never changes them up. You see what I'm saying? This man, it's not a whole bunch of plays to what this man does, man. He's doing the exact same shit every single time and Jake continually getting caught up with it. But it's people that are starting to wake up to this man's um, tactics, though. Right. Well, let me end out here. We'll just get this. Um, Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. And how do you do that? The scripture says to watch and pray. What are you watching for? The things we just named off, the prophecies. Those earthquakes, those in diverse places, those wars, rumors of wars. You know, you see news of pestilence. You see no news of famines. You hear news of nuclear war and all this other shit, man. Hey, that's that's watching and praying. Now you're, you're you know, that that one we read in second um, Edris chapter nine, verse one, he says to um, measure thou the time diligently. The only way that you can measure the time is if you know what's to come. So when you see it, you're like, oh, yep, the Bible, the scripture speaks to that. The scripture talks about that. I know that that, oh, okay, this is about where we're at on the time scale because the scriptures talks about that. You see what I'm saying? It says, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Because you're living in very wicked, evil days, man. Jake through, 
the so-called white man through, the damn heathens, they're through. It's all kinds of crazy shit going on throughout the earth. And, and they'll just keep Jake entertained. All Jake want to do is, is all they got to do is throw Jake a basketball game, throw him a concert, you know, throw him a new rap song, throw him a new death of some of one of these niggas that got shot down. And Jake not going to think about much else. You got he got food. He got smoke. You know, he got drink. You know, he got a little little woman he can get on. Come on, man. Jake not worried about nothing else, man. He's not worried about too much more when it straight comes down to it. That's the, it's just bread and circus. Bread and circus. They understand how to keep Jake just stu stupefied. S asleep, man. But and, and, and it's crazy. These Edomites are waking up. But a lot of Jake, though, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say that um, our people are not waking up. It's just not to the point that they need to be waking up to. They need to be waking up to this truth. Which is your how about Shimmy I was shy. That's what they need to be waking up to, repentance. You know? And, and don't 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 think that hey, Jake is really starting to, to see that they're Hebrew Israelites. They'll tell you quick, oh yeah, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. But what are they doing? Are they really changing their lives? Have they really repented? Are they really uh, reborn again? Because you know, when you're reborn again, you repent, you're gonna change your life, man. You're gonna get off the bullshit. You're gonna come out of those works of darkness, according to um, let's get Romans. Romans 13 and 11. You're going to come out of the bullshit and you're going to switch things up. You're going to be trying to please the Lord, man. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. See? Because we're looking at the prophecies playing out. That's how we know that our time is near. Then when we would, this was this was spoken of two thousand years ago. You know we have to be super duper close right about now, man. Come on, man. Verse twelve it says, "The night is far spent; the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light." And how do you do that, man? By repenting to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. Not no damn Jehovah and no Jesus, man. There's no letter J in Hebrew, no letter E, no letter O or U or V in Hebrew, man. I like to always mention that because the letter J was invented in 1524 by a guy named Trisino, I think is his name. But it was invented in 1524. You can Google it. It was not calling on, on no, no, no Jesus back in the days. It wasn't calling him because the letter wasn't even out. There was no such thing as anything with a letter J in it. You see what I'm saying? So what was they calling him? They was calling him by the Hebrew name that was given to him by um, Gabriel, the angel Gabriel, man. Yahweh Shai. And the apostle been going off into that as of late where it breaks down what his name is and what his name means. It's Yahweh Shai. It means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. The true name of our father is Yahweh, which means that he's, he exists, the existing one. He is to be. Those are the true names of the father and son. So you have to repent, man, in these last days because because the, the times are it's drawing not. Look at how crazy niggas is. <laughs> so lock you for the language. But I mean, damn, look at how crazy Negroes are these days. The women, oh, my goodness, out of control. And I ain't just talking about, you know, just so-called black people. I'm talking about the original niggas, the so-called white man. They out here wilding out worse than, you know, <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Look at just pay attention to the news, just your regular news. If you're not going to look at alternative news, just check out your regular news and see how people. I mean, damn social media. You on social media all day. Look at how people are acting on there. That's an indicator that you're in the end, man. This place is doomed. How much longer you think this shit is about to go on, man? Here you go, you're at a state of the kids not having kids no more because the so-called white man is pushing the alphabet shit on them so hard that your kids right now could possibly grow up. If, if this shit carries on, there won't be no more children born. Let the so-called white man get them in the schools and indoctrinate them long enough until the next generation. Or no, or just, can you imagine another generation of this craziness? Get out of here, man. The Lord is on the way, man. So with that... I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come, Yashallah.